What is up guys? It's Jake and in this video I'm going to tell you guys and teach you guys how to play your Wii and GameCube game favorites on your PC and at most of the time 60 FPS and in 1080p or even up to 4k. So let's get right into it. So to get started, you're going to go straight to Dolphin's official website. I'll have that linked down below for y'all. And then right here, you're going to see the download Dolphin 5.0 for Windows, Mac and Linux. Just this huge button and you're going to click it. And then it's going to take you to the download section. You're going to see all old versions of Dolphin and then for different OS's if you have those. Then you're just going to click download Windows X64 if you have it or Mac and it's gonna start downloading. Once it's finished, you're going to open it. Yes. You're gonna agree to all of this. You're gonna download the DirectX runtime, the Visual C+, don't uncheck anything. Next, you're gonna pick where you want it to install to, whether you want it in your program files, which I recommend, or you could do it to your desktop if you wanted to. Um, and then you click install. I'm not gonna install it as I already have it installed and it will conflict. Now once it's done installing, you're just going to open up the emulator. And as soon as you open it up, you're going to see Dolphin could not find any GameCube or Wii ISOs. And then double click here to set a games directory. You're not going to do that yet as you don't really have any games in the first place. Now I'm not going to link any places that you are going to be able to get ROMs as that is kind of, kind of illegal, you know? But all you have to do is just Google your certain favorite ROM that you like, such as Mario Kart. And if you wanted to see a complete list of all available games that Dolphin supports and how well they work, you're just going to go back to Dolphin's website, click compatibility, and you get to see the ratings and all the different games that it supports. You're going to click either filter by perfect or playable, completely dismiss starts or broken because those are obviously broken and then you're going to search for whatever game you want based on its starting letter. You cannot download ROMs from this website, this just gives you a compatibility idea and tells you if it works or not. Then once you have your ROM, for example I have Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, you're just going to make a new folder on your desktop. It could be really anywhere you want but I would recommend your desktop so it's easier to put there in ROMs that you want and then rename it to ROM and just drag the ROM into the folder. Then you're going to go back to Dolphin, double click the set of games directory, and then you're going to go find what you just made on your desktop. There it is, ROM, select folder, and there you go. There's all of your ROM. Now, if you have a pretty beefy computer, um, what you could do is that you could set up some of the graphics and kind of make them to your liking. Um, so you, what you want to do is you want to click graphics, go to general, you can set your back end to be OpenGL um, DirectX 12 or DirectX 11. Uh, OpenGL is usually the most stable, but for really graphic intensive games, you could set it to DirectX 12. Um, you're just gonna have to play around with those, see which one you like better. And then for display, uh, I usually set my full screen resolution to auto and I set aspect ratio uh, stretch to window and I always click use full screen because that is going to give you the best performance. Now on other, I just leave it just the way like this unless you want to hide your mouse cur cursor or show FPS. Now go to enhancements. I usually keep this, the internal resolution to 3x native as that sets it to 1080p instead of its basic super low like 960 by 500 or something like that. Anti-aliasing I bump up to 4x as so 8x and SSA is a little bit too much but it all it's all up to your graphics card. And then anisotropic filtering I don't really see a major difference when I use these. Maybe it just depends on the game because that the 1x, 4x, 2x it really doesn't matter. And then I don't do anything for post-processing but you could do some if you want to play with that for some special look. I don't I don't really know. And I usually keep scaled EFB copy on as that increases um, certain 
textures in the game. Um, it usually makes your game look better, uh, although it will increase your GPU load. So if you don't have a good GPU, I would not recommend turning this on. And that's usually what I keep for this. I do not turn on widescreen hack as that just makes a lot of games glitch and it just doesn't work. Hacks, I keep all three of these checked, but you can always play around with these. And then advanced, I have load custom textures on um, for all the games that use custom textures. Wind Waker, there is a texture pack. Mario Kart, there's a texture pack. And that's what's really cool about using these. There are texture packs that makes them look even better. Now to set up a controller, what you want to do is click controllers and then here you can see GameCube controllers, Wiimotes and you're able to configure settings for both of those. If you have an Xbox remote you can just click configure for Wiimote or GameCube controllers and then here you can rebind everything if you want to to whatever you want. So guys that has been it for my tutorial. If you have any questions leave them down in the comments below. I will answer as many as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun and keep up.